That's a toothbrush. Greenies. Greenie tooth. Look, he's getting excited. I want to know what it, what it is that you like about this. Do you want to try it? <laughs> Hell no. Trying to get Arthur to pee on the turf pad, and it's really <laughs> it's peed it. It's not working. Um, I know people have done this, gotten their dogs to go on deck. We got a little piece of um, turf from Home Depot. He's peed on it on the dock, and he did that like once or twice, and then just was completely uninterested in it. And I know I got to be patient, but. <laughs> <laughs> he just, uh, man, he's just, he's not getting it. Here, we're going to try again. Arthur. Arthur. <laughs> oh, there you are. Right at my feet. Here you go. Arthur, please. Please, Arthur. Just pee on it. What are you supposed to do? Come on, man. You pee pee? Go pee pee? Go pee pee. No, pee pee. No, pee. Please pee. Come on. <laughs> Buddy. Oh. I'm going to bring the grass and Arthur up front. I'll give him a pee on it, I'll give him a treat. Maybe later then, he'll do it on board. Hold on, hold on. Oh, what's he doing? What's he, oh. <laughs> Come here. This is good. Come here. Come here, buddy. Good job. Yeah, good job. Yeah, good boy. You did so good. They say the best kind of boats are the ones your friends own. We don't get out sailing much on other boats, so it was nice to kick back, relax, and let Bruce and Sarah do all the work. But this short sail quickly turned into an impromptu man overboard drill when Arthur's life jacket blew overboard. A quick tack and a tangled jib sheet only added to the excitement. Pull the other side for slack. Even though it was bright green and the water was relatively calm, by the time we turned around, we had no clue where it was. A clear example of what can happen as we prepare for full-time cruising.
The Adventures of King Arthur. Look at King Arthur as he is presented with a sample of what is to be the new royal lawn. This patch of turf was hand-delivered to His Highness's yacht for his close and detailed inspection. The King knows that such a decision cannot be taken lightly. Full effort must be utilized in his scrutiny. He undergoes a rigorous stress test. Arthur cannot be expected to expel his bladder on just any run-of-the-mill ditchweed. Sensing dissatisfaction, his servant goes in for the hard sell. But our king will not stand for anything less than perfection. Crabgrass. Hmm. King Arthur cannot hide his disgust. In some kingdoms, wasting the king's time is punishable by death. Today, this servant is lucky. Mm-hmm. What is that? That is our new anchor. Because we had a problem in the dry tortugas. We dragged. A big part of that is I don't think we had enough scope out. But this anchor sometimes has trouble setting. It might be a little undersized for the amount of cruising we're going to do. So pull the trigger. Big though. 65 pound mantis. This looks awesome. The other thing we have is a mantis chain hook. So I just got an old school chain hook and kind of made my own snubber, but when I put it on, it was like I had to zip tie it onto the chain. It was just a pain in the butt. And then we had some issues where we were. I had to get that thing off of there quick, like when we dragged that first time. You know, I had to run out there with the scissors or a knife to cut it, and I was like, forget it. You got this kind of plastic lock here, but the chain goes up in there and slides in, and then locks in with that. And then you attach this to a, like a nice piece of dock line, run that out as a snubber. So. See how excited you are about this anchor. <laughs> Listen, this anchor hopefully means that I'm going to sleep a lot better. And I like to sleep. You know, this thing's rated for like 50 knots on the So, I mean, that's a wicked storm. You could be at anchor and this thing's going to be fine. My guess is that it's better for winds over that even. So, so I have two concerns. Uh, one, Three concerns. Uh, one, is this going to fit in this bottle? I think it will. An extra 20 pounds on the windlass. I hope it can get this up and over when we're uh, pulling it. Third, I hope I can get it up by hand. I'm sure I can, but it's a big angle. It's a lot of, it's a lot of weight. <laughs> That's what I think. I asked her. I said, baby, you want to put it together? No. Did you do that? We got a request that you put your bikini on. <laughs> I want to note it, and it is noted, that you made that request in front of your wife.
simple enough to put together. That is a big ass anchor. I couldn't lift that, could I? Oh, you want me to try? Yeah, I want you to try. Great, I'll break my back. <laughs> lift with your legs. Yeah, like that. Careful, don't stab yourself. Oh, that's, uh, that's heavy. Yeah. Beautiful. Yesterday, Arthur, he peed out there on the spot that I wanted him to, the one I keep bringing him to, but he did it alone when I was down below here. We're hanging out in the bedroom, and we have, through our crazed windows, we can see the pee pad out there. Is he gonna do it? Dang it. Look, there he is. Noticed he peed on our jib sheets. Not a lot though. Where else did he pee? Oh yeah. Trail all the way down. Two different kinds of treats here. What are these? Blue Dog Bakery. All natural, soft and chewy. Look, it looks like it has like a little gooey center. In there, they smell like they smell awful. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> They're kind of sweet. It says grilled chicken and cheese flavor. I taste like apples. There's no grilled chicken or cheese in that. What's the other one? Duck flavor? Delightful duck recipe. Tiny naturals. Here. It's got like a little sweetness too. <laughs> Neither of these are that bad. I mean, as far as dog treats go. Ooh, you know what he does like though. That's a toothbrush. Greenies. Greeny tooth. Look, he's getting excited. So I'll give you the whole thing. Look, you didn't do anything but pee on the mask today, and now you get a treat. I don't know if that's very good training. <laughs> I want to know what it, what it is that you like about this. You want to try it? Hell no. Is it gross? No. Is it minty? No. It's got a little sweetness too. Dried apple pumice, that's what I'm tasting. <laughs> Does this mean I don't have to brush? Dog treats have come a long way. 
from the old school milk bone. Because mm -hmm. those are just like chalk. You have to try those too. <laughs> if you're going to feed it to the dog, you should at least know. I was trying. 